He said, if you simply say yes to everyone and everything without really thinking about it, reactively, you cannot be utilized at your highest point of contribution. That's what he learned. What about you? All right, here are the simple questions. We're gonna do a quick poll of 5,000 people. That's all right. Here we go. You're gonna snap if this is true for you, right? Have you ever found yourself stretched too thin at work or at home? Snap for that. There's somebody dancing at the back here every single day. Uh, okay, have you ever found yourself busy but not productive? Have you ever just said yes just to please? Yeah. Or to appease? Or just to avoid trouble? <laughs> have you ever found your day got hijacked by something that ended up not being so important but somebody else's agenda? <laughs> it's a, a full round of applause, apparently. So, those were the easy questions. <laughs> the harder question to think about is why. In the Industrial Revolution, which was sort of like the great, you know, dot-com bubble before the dot-com bubble, right? It was just this every, throw everything out as we get everything new. Well, some of that new was good, but some of the old was good too. I mean, can you have many, many priorities? Can you? Can you have 10 very first before all of the things things? And haven't you been to a meeting yourself in which nobody said, somebody said with no sense of irony at all, here are my 20 priorities? <laughs> Everything matters. Everything's important. You've just got to shove it all in. We'll do it all. All of it. Now. In fact, not just now, not just now, because somebody had to up that idea. It was yesterday. <laughs> the idea, the idea is if you could just do a few things superbly well, then you'd break through to the next level. I mean, do you understand the power of that single idea? If everybody here made a small adjustment, a small difference, took on the mindset, I'm going to operate as an essentialist, the difference you'd make is massive. I mean, it's not an incremental, you make an incremental change individually, but collectively, it's exactly the stuff that breaking through to the next level collectively is made of. Does it make sense? So the question is, is how to do it? And I want to suggest three things. Now, there's only three words on this, but I want to explain each of them in turn because they really matter. Because the antidote to the undisciplined pursuit of more is the disciplined pursuit of less but better, right? Here's what's going to happen as a result of today's conversation. Nothing. Unless you take a different path. And I've seen this happen. I've seen whole organizations create a tremendous grassroots movement. And they start small. They make small wins. Right now, you think, who do I need to talk to on my team? Who do I need to, to mention this to, share these ideas with? And then you get your whole team together, you know, you read the book or some other book on focus and, and simplify, it's all right. And then you build momentum and you have wins. Yeah, there's an organization, I just got off the CEO of an organization who, who, who implemented essentialism in the way that we're describing here. He's, he's tripled the growth of that organization in nine months. Tripled it over what it's been every single year for the last 10 years. That is the value proposition and value of essentialism.